Jenkins. I'm clean. No. time no see everybody and good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are it is me your coronavirus lockdown sing along 2020 performances leading commander in chief jack Wright here also known as jackpot button lewis on youtube and welcome to another on my coronavirus lockdown sing along 2020 performances now, I know I have been away from, uh, of course, uh, doing these every single week um, throughout the last few months uh, since I initially started these as part of the clap for the NHS, which started all the way back in April. But after a little break from it, I am back, and now this is my first ever professional shooting performance of, uh, of uh, one of my uh, one of these coronavirus lockdown sing-along, uh, of course, 2020 performances. And, uh, and this one today is very, very special, not just because it's also an unofficial anniversary of a, of a very poignant song that uh, I never thought I would be ever a fan of, uh, was released 30 years ago this year, back in, of course, uh, from 30 years ago, back in 1990, on the 26th of November 2020, and that song is all together now from the Manchester, of course, band from Manchester, I should say, of The Farm. And uh, for most of you that may know the song very well, it um, uh, was a song that was very close to the band's hearts and also featured the themes of socialism, football and also brotherhood. And um, very poignant things also that, um, well, of course, the song was written all those years ago. It initially was going to be called In No Man's Land when it was originally, uh, of course, written and then recorded um, as an, uh, of course, as a little, um, as a, uh, a um, how would you say it? A, um, oh, prototype. There we go. That's what I meant to say. It was a prototype edition of the song all those years ago. But um, it, the song didn't become official and, uh, and then it didn't get its official name of All Together Now until seven years later in 1990. And it's crazy to think that, uh, and of course it's pretty obvious uh, with the original uh, title for it before it became 
uh, more famous for being called altogether now. And it's all about uh, referencing one of the most, uh, of course, um, rarest uh, times in British history or any form of history in warfare, of course, of wars going on uh, across the world was back in, of course, 1914, the first year of the First World War, back 106 years ago to this year, would you believe? And it's all referencing, and of course referencing, I should say also, um, the very famous truce that happened between Allied and German forces on the early, in the early hours, I should say, of the Christmas morning on Christmas Day, and um, they uh, put their weapons down and met in no man's land to exchange gifts and also socialize and also play football. Uh, for most of you that might know, if you uh, did see at the beginning of this video, I did use an excerpt of a very famous advert that uh, the British supermarket, uh, of course, brand of Sainsbury's done a few years ago. I think it would have been about, I think, six years ago from what I remember. And it was a advert aired at Christmas called 1914, and it was a, uh, a, a recreation of that time of uh, of the Christmas truce, and uh, between, uh, of course, uh, Allied and uh, or, well, it was British mostly as well as German uh, forces, uh, but also the French were fighting with us at the time. They were allies with us, and so were the Russians. And uh, while the Germans had Italy and then Austro-Hungary, but then unbelievably, uh, I think as the Second World War, uh, oh, sorry, First World War, I should say, I correct myself there, um, as it progressed, Italy then became one of our allies after um, leaving the alliance of uh, both Germany, of the, or should I say, the German Empire, as they were called back then, and also Austro-Hungary. But of course, it's not just about that as well. It, um, uh, of course, has became very, very popular, this song, uh, not just because of the message of, uh, you know, um, uh, not just fighting uh, during the war and, of course, for a time of peace and goodwill around the time of Christmas, but also uh, the song has been very, very popular over the, uh, the last 30 years or so, and there's been various versions. It's even been a song, would you believe, even uh, to uh, represent the England national football team in any major football tournaments, uh, the last time it was used, I think was um, I think in the 2006 World Cup in Germany, and um, an Atomic Kitten done a, a cover of it, but it was a, a very different version of it uh, compared to the Farms uh, version, which they then re-recorded that uh, two years before in 2004, and then uh, was uh, game a, a little bit of a uh, an England football, um, of course, uh, spin-off or a little bit more themed around the England football team, and a and with of course the chorus of the song of all together now then was made into a chant, and instead of in no man's land, it was changed to we're England, we're England, instead of um, of course, uh, like I said, in no man's land as that was the original lyric in the song. But anyway, enough, of course, history about the song. I think you want to see it all in full, don't you? Well, before we do that, I would just like to say, since, of course, this is, um, a, a, of course, a reenactment of uh, that time in history of, uh, of the First World War, as you know, many soldiers lost their lives in those four years of um, how long the First World War lasted. And before I, sh of course, um, show you the performance all in full on what I had done on my doorstep earlier on, uh, of course, uh, uh, today since I've just filmed it. And uh, if you're watching this right now from a few days after since I just filmed it, um, of course, I also done exactly the same thing here, which I'm about to do. And I'm going to do a two minute silence. And that is, of course, to honour all of the soldiers that gave their lives and are sadly uh, may not have, of course, lived that day 106 years ago. And, um, and as I always say before, that uh, with any soldier that gives their life for their country, on the day when the sun goes down and we will remember them, lest we forget. As soon as I blow this whistle, the two-minute silence will begin and then it will lead into the performance that once again to celebrate the unofficial 30th anniversary of once again the song All Together Now 
from the farm. I hope you enjoyed the performance and of course we are one more step closer for this coronavirus pandemic becoming uh, no longer around and uh, and of course we will beat this virus. This virus won't last forever since there are so many news uh, of course stories about hopeful vaccines and they've been uh, very very positive and effective I mean we can only hope that uh, from the start of next year uh, at the very very earliest that um, life will hopefully return to normal life will begin again I'm sure it will be but anyway from myself Jack Wright I hope you enjoy the upcoming performance you're about to see and once again remember to stay safe protect the NHS and control the virus and you can also save lives and stay alert out there remember to of course wash your face of course of course cover your face make some space and don't forget to wash your hands as well to prevent any more further spreading of this virus but anyway here is once again the two minute silence to honor all those soldiers who fought 106 years ago and not just for the first world war but to any other war that has happened since we've had Membrance Sunday and Membrance Day from a few weeks ago. And I hope to see you very, very soon with a very special Christmas performance and also one for the new year to round off a very unusual year that we've had in 2020. But I hope to perform uh, for you a load more times until once again this pandemic will finally come to an end. But uh, stay safe out there and until next time, Au revoir, adios, au revoir. See you next time and enjoy the performance. Oh, well, should I say good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. After a long, long time uh, being away because of the weather, I, of course, was welcome to another of my coronavirus lockdown sing-along 2020 performances with myself, uh, Lieutenant Jack Wright here of the British Army. And as you can tell, 
I know this is a, a song, uh, or of course a performance, I never thought I would ever do, but this is one that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. And in just a few days' time from next week, tonight's theme, uh, of course, even though it's all about the, uh, the First World War, there's a song that, uh, of course, um, was uh, written and also talked about a, a very point in time in the First World War, back 106 years ago. And on the, uh, the, uh, in the early hours of Christmas Day and Christmas morning, Allied and German troops met each other in no man's land. And, uh, of course, they actually put down their weapons and also they uh, socialised. And also, they, uh, uh, as I said, uh, they, they were fortunate enough to uh, see each other and, as I said, put their weapons down. I'm trying to remember, what else, what else uh, did they do? Um, they, uh, they, um, oh yeah, they also exchanged gifts and also socialised and also unbelievably, which I never thought would happen, play football with each other. And I've got a few things that were all themed around it. I've, I've got an old style football and that, that's for a very important reason at the end of the song that I'm going to sing. And the song that I'm singing for you today is uh, one that you might have heard when during the clap for the NHS earlier on this year. And it's a song called All Together Now. And from uh, next, um, I think, uh, Thursday will be 30 years since the song came out. And it was done by the, uh, the band, from the, which was The Farm, in, from Manchester, back in 1990. And this song was um, a very uh, iconic song from the band, as it talked about um, three very close things for the band, which are socialism, love of football, and um, family and friends, really, and love, basically. And, um, and this song, of course, is, uh, talks about the, the Christmas truce of 1914. And um, as I said, uh, if you listen to the lyrics, uh, there, this was a time when a load of the soldiers around my age didn't want to fight. And of course, they had no choice, which, are, which is quite a sad uh, thing to say. And, uh, but unbelievably, um, I was going to say that I only just found out recently that um, uh, just through um, from, from my mum, actually, believe it or not, uh, she's not there at the moment, but she actually said to me that just recently I actually might have a distant relative who actually might have uh, fought in the First or Second World War, for that matter, and uh, his name was Albert Dunn, and he, uh, he fought in Italy uh, during the Second World War, and, um, and he was a sergeant, and he also... Um, unbelievably uh, was almost uh, given a Victoria Cross for uh, bravery for fighting against the uh, by the Germans and uh, but unfortunately he didn't get it because of his rank which was very very sad but um, all that aside of course this uh, song that I'm gonna sing is, is all paying tribute to that very special day 106 years ago but before I um, uh, would sing this song uh, since of course just a few weeks ago was Membrance Day and of course Membrance Sunday I'd like to have a, uh, I would like to do a minute silence to um, honour and of course remember all of those soldiers who may of course, may not have even lived that day or those days ago or those years ago and, um, and also who sadly never came back. So I will start the uh, um, a minute silence as soon as I blow this whistle. And as always, just like they would say in the First World War, when the day, of course, would come to an end and the sun will go down, would always remember them and less forget. But anyway, here's, of course, the song, All Together Now, from the farm, 
And if you know the song, don't be afraid to sing along as well. Here we go. Together now. 
boys they say they said no stop the slaughter stay at home stay at so stay at home the boys they say they said no stop the fight and let's go home let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go I almost teared up with that. I, that's, um, I, I don't think the conditions couldn't be any more poignant, actually. I mean, I, I certainly wasn't expecting the conditions to be that good. But uh, I, honestly, I really appreciate you coming out, uh, of course. I know it's a, a lot more colder than usual, but uh, uh, I told you, obviously, to wrap up warm and everything. But there's also one other thing that I'd like to do. But before I do that, I've actually got a very special poem that was written by, uh, of course, uh, someone who, believe it or not, was a very uh, avid football fan. Um, and it was uh, just uh, written um, back on the, uh, the 5th of December, uh, on the Wednesday in 2018, Wednesday, uh, the December the 5th, uh, uh, 2018. And it is, uh, the poem was called One Trenching Christmas. It's quite a long poem, but I'll go through it as quickly as I can. But it's very important, and there's a reason why I've got my football right here. And, uh, and of course, it'll come in handy for something very important right after the poem. So here is the poem, One, Trent, One Christmas sorry, in the Trenches, by Crispin Thomas. One Christmas in the Trenches, they stood in mud and sand. Their loved ones and their football, a far off distant land. The snow lay thick as thick could be, a bitter chill did spread. Behind the sandbags and wire, they stood among the dead. Their sweethearts' faces locked inside, their tins and bits of things, along with resignation of all that fighting brings. On backs of woodbine packets, some around some cold tin stew, like texts and updates of their day, the scores will still get through. December 1914, upon that Christmas morn, when an act, an act unplanned, an instant truce was born. Behind the barbed wire barricades, all scorched and bleak and bare, as distant sound grew all around, a song hung on the air. That Christmas in the trenches, a hope blew on the wind. A carol in another tongue, from far off did begin. We'll never know who made the call to move in such a way, but something somehow lifted them upon that Christmas day. Forbidden breaches of orders, we call it what we will, but hearts were stirred and greetings heard. The air grew calm and still. From burrows, then on either side, they met in no man's land. As enemy met enemy, with gifts and outstreaked hands. A football thrown between the guns, from nowhere did appear. And in that silence voices rang and echoed loud and clear. We'll never know the score, or just how many games, when Tommy Atkins challenged Fritz upon that Christmas day. How can we dare comment, what use these simple lines, if none of us can dream or feel the horror of those times? As for a moment time stood still, when arms were left aside, the bayonet, the rifle, the cannon hate and pride. But one result is certain, as game and friendship ceased, 
the sudden opportunity for peace was never seized. And still we wonder how a man can laugh and play with men to then return like sheep to fold to kill and kill again. One Christmas in that first great war of stench and blood and grime, their football brought them closer for one brief day in time. And though commanders drove them back, their orders to obey, between the lines a match was played upon that Christmas day. And at this time in the pandemic, we've actually got a bit of hope now with so much news about the vaccines. And if there's anything that I want to say about this time at the moment in the pandemic, if this football was the virus and my right foot was the vaccine, this is what I would do. Oh. Screw you, coronavirus! <laughs> we don't belong in the world! <laughs> very good. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I've been waiting to do that. I know you weren't expecting that, and I didn't think I hit the... That was a good I shot. Very broken, I, hit the, <laughs> I told you. I was very cautious. I wasn't going to tell you that I was going to kick a football, but that's all in relation to the Christmas truce. And I know, of course, Christmas is just round the corner, but I couldn't have thought of a better song to honour that time in history. And uh, I know Christmas is just round the corner, and, uh, and honestly, I, uh, as I said, I've, I've had a lot of fun uh, doing this. And of course, once again on Thursday, later on, the, the, of course, next week, will mark 30 years since the song All Together Now from the Farm was sung. But since, of course, uh, <laughs> thank you very much, I'll get it. If you might remember, of course, the, the Sainsbury's advert from a few years ago, they actually done that. So I wanted to have a bit of a, a, a of course, a... Uh, a reference to that, but uh, I really appreciate you coming out and uh, braving this cold weather. But uh, since, of course, Christmas is just round the corner, to uh, finish things off, I'd like to play uh, a Christmas song to get you in the Christmas mood. I honestly think that should be a Christmas song, the uh, All Together Now, the Farms, because of the point and message. But um, to, keep, to leave you in high spirits after that very moving and emotional performance, Here's uh, a very familiar song that you might know from uh, uh, around Christmas time. And it is uh, a song that I, uh, obviously, uh, I never thought that when I first heard it, I didn't even know what it was all about, but it was actually about a soldier fighting in the trenches. I d I'm not sure if it was the first or second, but uh, for most of you who might know it, it's uh, a very popular one. And I'd like to leave you with it. It's. Uh, Stop the Cavalry from Jonah Louie, if you might know that. <laughs> but of course, uh, if you did, most of you that got the letters through your door earlier on, uh, of course, this week. I am planning to do another uh, performance coming up to Christmas, if you want to brave the cold again. And also, I've got one lined up for the new year as well. And uh, I know it's going to be very different this year, as you know, with this pandemic going on. But uh, if any of you still want me to perform, which I know most of you would still agree that you'd want me to, I'm always here for you uh, to get through this very dark and twisted time. And, uh, and well, as I said before, we will beat this virus. As I've said before, we will beat it all together with all these vaccines coming in very soon. And as soon as we all get, of course, vaccinated and when we can meet again and hug each other and you know, socialize, it will be a very special day. That day will come. This virus won't, of course, uh, be around here forever, as I've said before. And I've got every hope that uh, We'll meet together with each other once again very, very soon. So but anyway, thank you very much for coming out. And I hope to see you, uh, of course, in a, in a few weeks' time for my Christmas special sing-along for a few Christmas carols and, uh, and also one for New Year's Eve. But once again, from myself, Jack Wright, Lieutenant Jack Wright of the British Army, thank you very much for coming out, and I'll see you very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Good thank afternoon. you. Well done.